Hello, hope you are doing good. In this beginner friendly tutorial, I'll be showing you how to turn your website into an app. For example, you can see that I'm currently in my WordPress website admin page as you can see right here. So the first thing you will need to do, once on your WordPress website admin page, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap on plugins, then you are going to tap on add new. Once you have tapped on add new, the plugin that I would like you to add is app my site. So you are going to simply tap on, type in app my site right here in the search bar. Then you are going to see this app come up and you are going to install and activate the app. Once you have installed and activate the app, you are going to tap on app my site from the left hand menu option. Then after you have done that, all you'll need to do now is scroll down. Then right where you see get started for free, you're going to tap right there. After you have done that, you will be led to this page. And from here, you can get started for free. All you'll need is your email address. And once you have created your app and you would like to post it, for example, on the Android platform, you will need to pay $19 per month. And if you'd like to post it on both the Android and iOS market, you will need to pay $29 per month. There are other platforms that will allow you to also convert your website into an app. Another one that I would recommend is Bubble.io. And with Bubble.io, their pricing plan starts at $29 per month. And again, you'll be able to create your app for free. But for it to go live, you will need to pay. So on both platforms, for your app to be available on the app market, you will need to pay. But you can create your app and test it out before paying. So let's go back. So once we have done that and you have signed up, you will be redirected to this page right here. You will tap on create app. Let me do that real quick. Once you have tapped on create app, you can add the app name. So let's say I want to name this app test. Then you can use web to app if you are not using a WordPress website. But if you are using a WordPress website, you can tap on WordPress app. Then you will simply paste your website URL right there and you are going to tap on create. After you have tapped on create, you are going to be redirected to the dashboard. The first thing I want you to do once on the dashboard, you are going to tap on app icon. After you have tapped on app icon, from here you can add how you would like your app icon to look. A platform that I would recommend you go on to create an app icon is Canva. And keep in mind that your app icon needs to be at least 1024 by 1024 px. So I would say 1025 by 1025, then tap on create new design. A logo that or an icon that I created for this example was this one. Once you have created it, all you'll need to do is tap on share in the top right hand corner. Then scroll down a bit and tap on download. Once it has been downloaded, you would go back into app my site and you're going to tap on upload an image and you would simply drag and paste the image right here. Then you would tap on done in the bottom right hand corner. Then you want to scroll back up and you are going to tap on save in the top right hand corner. After you have saved it, after you have saved it, you can continue editing how it looks. By tapping on appearance on the left hand menu option, you can change the home screen by tapping on home screen. You can edit out your home screen look. At the moment you can see how mine will look right here. So you can see how the basic home screen look. You can change the color. You can change any section you want. You can also add a login and sign up if you want by tapping on login and sign up right here. And if you would also like to change the color, you can do that. If you would like to change the menu option, you can tap on menu and you'll be able to edit how the menu looks. And you can also change the bottom bar by tapping on bottom bar right here. 
so if you would like to add a bottom bar you can also do that as you can see right here once you are finished you'll tap on connectivity so we'll check if everything is okay so we are going to tap on grant access and then you will tap on verify if it hasn't been verified as yet and once everything is okay all you'll need to do now you will tap on preview and you will be able to preview how your website looks so let's say for example you want to see how it will look on an iPhone Pro Max you will tap on that then you can see how it looks right here you can see that it is installing the app and you will tap on allow and it looks or better yet it feels just like how you'd feel to install a regular app so you can see how the app will look right there and if you want to look how it will look on an android device you can tap on click to get started and as i said earlier for your app to go live so let's say we were to tap on publish from the left hand menu option you would need to go on one of their paid plans but from here you will be able to track the analytics so you'll be able to track your analytics and so on on this platform but to do that you will need to go on the paid plan as i said hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching After you have saved it, you can continue editing how it looks. By tapping on Appearance on the left hand menu option, you can change the home screen by tapping on Home screen. You can edit how your home screen look. At the moment, you can see how mine will look right here. So you can see how the basic home screen look. You can change the color. You can change any section you want. You can also add a login and sign up if you want by tapping on login and sign up right here and if you would also like to change the color you can do that if you would like to change the menu option you can tap on menu and you'll be able to edit how the menu looks and you can also change the bottom bar by tapping on bottom bar right here so if you would like to add a bottom bar you can also do that as you can see right here once you're finished you'll tap on connectivity so we'll check if everything is okay, so we are going to tap on